Uh, my name is DJ McCall. Uh, I'm from the United States, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, so I played high school basketball in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I uh, played college basketball um, in Indiana, in Indianapolis at IEPUI. Uh, it's in the Horizon League. Um, played there for, I was there for five years. And then uh, my rookie season, I played in the NBA G League with the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And then uh, last year, I uh, missed out on a season with the pandemic and coming off an injury. And now I'm here at Euro Pro Basket. So I had been doing my research on Euro Pro Basket for the last few years now. And uh, when I knew that I needed to find a way to, you know, fill the gap in my resume, I uh, looked at Euro Pro Basket, did a lot of research, uh, contacted Brad. Um, he answered all the questions I had. I uh, did research with some guys that have, you know, played here before and went on to play at other, uh, you know, professional leagues around Europe. Uh, so basically just through the internet, through social media. Uh, it's been good. Uh, I've been here uh, doing the training program. Uh, I've been here for the last two or three weeks. Um, those first two weeks was a grind, uh, but it, it was good. Good way for me to get in shape, uh, get, get into game playing shape, uh, especially, you know, these games in the summer league playing with that 24 second shot clock, it's an up and down game. Um, so it's been good. Um, you know, for me, I just wanted to, you know, prove to myself that, you know, I could get back in shape again get healthy again and you know I feel like I've been able to prove those things so far here yeah it's, it's definitely it's definitely a little different from the standpoint in America it's a lot of more isolation situations uh, especially with that 24 second shot clock I, I mean I saw in the NBA G League you know you you get caught a lot and um, offense defense uh, on island situations here even though we're playing with that 24 second shot clock it's still more team basketball, you're still running your sets, uh, early, late clock, and then also, you know, with with that, uh, there's no defensive three seconds in the lane, so there's more help. Uh, so just overall more, more team oriented. I think same thing, uh, the team aspect. Um, you know, I, what I notice, you know, from all the coaches here, and, and since I've been here the last three weeks, it's, they, they haven't really put any emphasis or focus on one guy. They're looking to help every guy on the roster, every guy here, um, every guy playing. Um, and I think that that trickles down. If the coach is thinking that way, uh, team first, I think it, it, it one through 10, one through 15 on your roster, it, it works that way too. Uh, no, I, I've went to some G League tryouts, but I mean, that, those are one day, um, kind of a free for all situation. Here it's a lot more professional, organized. You know, worst comes to worst, you come here and you at least get a feel for European basketball, the, the, the setup in terms of your day to day, two practices, three meals, uh, being around your teammates. Um, I think if, if you want to at least, you know, see if, you, European professional basketball is for you. Euro Pro Basket's a perfect situation. Uh, for me personally, I just wanted to show that, you know, prove to myself that, you know, I can play at a high level again and uh, just maximize, you know, any opportunities I can get here in Europe. You know, those were really my two goals. I didn't really come here expecting anything. You know, it was more I just wanted to prove to myself that I could get back to playing at a high level and then, you know, networking. Um, I think the two things would be, one, you know, making sure you're prepared when you come here, you're in shape, um, you know, you physically, mentally, you're ready to go. Um, and then two would be control what you can control. Um, and, and, you know, you gotta realize from when you step foot here, you're being evaluated, you know, not just on the court, but off the court. You gotta be on time to everything, uh, be professional, um, 
you know, be ready to work. And I think, uh, you know, one more thing would be to not expect anything here. If you come in here with expectations, you know, you could be, you know, let down quickly. If, if you come here thinking one thing's uh, gonna be a certain way just from the research you did or what you saw on social media, you gotta be ready to adapt. Um, it's, it's a grind. Uh, going two practices a day, you know, not having a crazy amount of downtime in between, it's tough on your body and you got to learn to take care of your body before or after practice, um, you know, later in the evening too. Um, but I think if you work through that grind and pay your dues, it's very re rewarding as well. Uh, beautiful. Um, Valencia is beautiful. Um, you know, every walk to and from uh, practice, you know, I try to take it all in. Uh, the, the facilities are uh, amazing. Um, it just makes you want to put more work in once you get here. Yeah, I've been to the beach. I've walked through the town quite a bit. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, you know, this is, the first, this is my first time in Europe um, and just being here in Valencia, definitely want to be back in Europe.